Hi, I'm Kristen Sanchez. It is Wednesday, December 2nd, and here are the six things to know. Miami Beach is launching a new initiative that will bring contact tracers to help control the spread of COVID-19 in businesses like hotels and restaurants. Race to Trace is a two, new $200,000 grant that will allow more testing and resources to aid businesses. The aim is to alleviate the burden that business owners face by quickly responding to new COVID-19 issues as they arrive. Now, Florida power and light disconnections continue, leaving thousands of residents without power. During the pandemic, the power company made payment arrangements with more than 1 million customers. But help is available. If you have a question about your bill or you need help, you can call 1-800-226-3545. Well, with more than 8,800 new COVID-19 cases, Florida has now surpassed 1 million confirmed cases. The state adds 82 more virus-related deaths. And among Florida residents, the total rising to 18,679. Florida is now the third state to reach the 1 million milestone, joining Texas and California. The UK has authorized emergency use of a new of a COVID-19 vaccine, making it the first Western country to do so. The vaccine comes from US based pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech. The vaccine will be made available starting from next week with details on the distribution to be announced. And a local facility to help military veterans with PTSD is in the works, yet there's no opening date in sight. The city of Margate says it's because of a zoning problem, but the woman behind the project says that the real trouble, it comes to the residents who don't like the idea. We have that full story right now on NBC6.com. Okay, so a chilly start to the day. No doubt about it. Here are uh, the numbers talking about low 50s to low 60s here. Uh, and, you know, it's not super official yet, but this is how it's probably going to play out here. Uh, the low temperature so far this morning in Miami, 53. The last time this cool, February 29th. 53 degrees. What about up the road just a little bit here looking at Fort Lauderdale so far 51 for the low this morning. Last time this cool about the same again February 29th. So it's been a while. Hey, the big warm up though starts today. We go from cool to nice to basically close to average again here. Upper 70s by Friday into Saturday. Overnight lows getting back to 70. So gone are those 40s and 50s. Uh, but Kristen, that next front brings us right back to similar numbers that we're dealing with right now. Lows back to the 50s potentially with highs struggling to get out of the 60s. All right, the next few days look refreshing, Adam. And those are your six things that you need to know for today. You can, of course, follow all of these stories and get a check of the forecast on the NBC6 app. And keep in mind that you can watch NBC6 on our app, Roku, Apple TV, and YouTube.